Hey guys, I'm Daniel. I'm going to be showing you how to determine a silver ion concentration when given a certain KSP. Okay. So the question we have here is the KSP for a silver 1 phosphate is 1.8 times 10 to negative 18. Determine the silver ion concentration in a saturated solution of silver 1 phosphate. Okay. I'm going to be taking a, a, a different approach to solving this. Okay. You, I don't think you're going to be, I don't think you would have learned this inside your chemistry class. Um, I had Dr. Navarone, we actually, uh, he actually taught us how to use an ice table, uh, which is kind of confusing when you're given KSP because you kind of have to work backwards. So I'm going to use this equation over here to find molar solubility, which is going to be uh, making the use of an ice table much easier. Okay. And just a little heads up, before I start, um, I'm going to be erasing some, uh, like halfway through the video. So uh, if you find if you see something that you think is important and you want to write it down just to study for study purposes later on, then go ahead and do that so you don't end up uh, having to rewind or something. All right. So the first thing to do here is to write out your reaction. Okay, we have silver one phosphate. Okay, so silver one meaning it's Ag plus and phosphate which has an oxidation number of negative three. Okay, so we're gonna have three silvers and one phosphate dissolving it into silver and phosphate all right now we need to balance this reaction okay we see here that we have three silvers while we have we only have one on this side so we have we have to put that three right there and um, we have this phosphate which it's only one phosphate and we have one phosphate on that side so we're all good okay so we're going to be uh, plugging in these values into our molar solubility uh, equation to find the molar solubility, okay? And uh, just to kind of show you guys uh, how to do it a little bit before I uh, actually get into it. It's going to be uh, KSP, which is given right here, okay? Over the coefficient on the reactant side raised to the subscript on the reactant side of the same uh, compound, okay? So A, A subscript X, okay, you're gonna be raising that to that. And this y, which is going to be the coefficient of B on the on the product side, raised to the subscript of B on the reactant side. All right. So we're going to be using these these uh, values to plug into our reaction our equation. So let me go over different markers so nobody gets confused. All right. So we have molar solubility S naught is equal to uh, KSP, which is 1.8 times 10 to, minute, to the negative 18, over uh, <coughs> our coefficient right here raised to the subscript over here. So it's going to be 3 raised to the 3. All right. And then uh, don't get confused right here. We only have one phosphate. Don't get confused by this 4 right here or that 4 over there. Okay. It's just 1 to the 1 because we only have one phosphate on each side. Okay. So it's 1 to the 1. And you raise that to the 1 over our subscripts over here, 3 plus 1. Okay, just imagine there's a plus, there's an imaginary 1 right there. Okay, <coughs> so we have 3 plus 1 on here, over here on this side, giving us a total of 4. So let's go ahead and plug this all this into our calculator. And um, if you want to write this down, write it down soon because I'm going to be erasing after I solve this. So we have 1.8 times 10 to negative 18, all right? And you divide that by 27, which is equal to 3 to the third power. Okay. Now, you raise what you get right here to the 1 over the fourth power. Okay. So raise that to the 1 over 4, giving us a total of 1.607 to the negative 5 power. All right, let me write that down. 1.607 times 10 to negative 5. All right. Now I'm going to be erasing the equation to make space for our ice table. Let me just rewrite that. All right, so we have initial. Let's use the other side. Initial, change, equilibrium. Okay. Now I know I said that I that I don't like using ice tables, but it's much easier now that we have molar solubility. 
because now we don't have to work backwards. Okay, we can start from the top. Okay, so our initial is going to be our molar solubility. And just to refresh your mind, molar solubility is um, the portion of our larger substance that's going to be fully dissolving. Okay, so <clears throat> in a second I'll explain that a little bit more. Alright, so 1.607 times 10 to the negative 5 is our initial concentration of silver 1 phosphate. Okay. And we don't we don't start off with any silver or phosphate, so it's, we're gonna go ahead and put zeros right there. Okay, so it's gonna change by negative one point six zero seven times ten to negative five. This is going to change by plus three. Okay, yeah, you know, because this uh, coefficient right here. Okay, so every mole that dissolves, you're going to be uh, three moles of silver are going to be released. Okay, so three times. 1.607 times 10 to negative 5, all right? And this is going to be plus 1.607 times 10 to negative 5, all right? So if you notice right here, don't get confused because it kind of seems that it completely dissociates, okay? And it, this is only uh, the case because we have molar solubility, okay? But if it gave you, a, let's say it told you, okay, we have uh, one molars of... Uh, Silver one phosphate, you calculate the silver ion concentration at equilibrium. Okay? Keep in mind that silver one phosphate is not a strong acid nor a strong base, so it's not going to completely dissociate. It only completely dissociates here because we have molar solubility. And molar solubility is the portion, okay, so we have a tiny, uh, it's not actually tiny or small, it might be small or something, small, a smaller portion of a larger substance that's going to be dissolving. Okay? Silver one phosphate wants to stay intact. Okay? It's only only a small portion of it's going to be dissolving, which is this portion right here. All right. So now we have this value right here. We can calculate this, the concentration. Okay. And uh, you just get that multiplied by three, giving us a silver one concentration of. Let me write it in black just to contrast. Silver one concentration of 4.8 times 10 to the negative five molars okay of uh, of silver all right and if you're doing this from the the problem set that I'm doing it from which is number 94 the answer the letter answer is going to be e all right so thanks for watching I hope everything uh, made sense uh, if not go ahead and rewind the video I hope the, you will be able to understand it and uh, hopefully you'll see that it's much easier to use that than the ice table thanks